first uh, go to the documentation uh, just we have and in this documentation you'll find the step-by-step -step guide to connect Google workspace with your uh, Fluent SMTP connection so in this case uh, you can follow this or just uh, watch what I have done so in this case I'm just adding any new connection so just click Google workspace as you can see that uh, it's recommended some information like from email uh, which we have and from name and as well as the application ID application uh, client secret and last one is just for authentication so in such a case just go to the blue Google and search cloud console Google or something like this uh, you'll find the first link of Google cloud platform uh, one thing remind that you need to log in to view this page okay so in this case I'm just adding a new project and give it a name called Fluent SMTP to my site. Okay, and this is the name for my project, and I'm just create this project. As you can see, that this project is creating here, and I'm just selecting this project. After that, you will see in here the project is selected okay so then just click this gear icon and you will find you need to find the APIs and service as you can see that's APIs and service and the new window will come and in here we'll find an option called enable APIs and service just click here and search for just Gmail and hit enter the gmail api in appears just enable uh, it might takes few times or few seconds just wait here uh, it's processing and it's uh, successfully enabled after that uh, this will appear in the top like a create a credential just click here uh, it's uh, everything is same just click the say user data and next after that uh, you need to just uh, provide a name just I am providing a name called fluent as uh, some TP just uh, fluent SMTP to my site, something like this, and this is the email which I have. And also, you need to provide the developer emails. This you can provide anyone and save and continue. Uh, it's default and save and continue. Uh, in here in the auth client id you need to select the web application and everything is uh, fine and just you need to add the authorized redirect urls so you'll find this URIs in your fluent smtp connection in here okay just copy this and go to the authorize and just paste it here and then create As you can see that uh, I have uh, successfully found my client ID here so I'm just uh, copy the client ID and paste it here just I am just fill up this one and uh, go to the down and just click done uh, as you can see that here you'll find an option called auth content skills so in here just uh, publish your app okay I'm just publish my app and go to the credentials here you'll find your credentials just click it here 
as you can see that the client ID is also be showing here and just you need to copy the secret okay client secret just paste it here and then you need to fill up your email address which one is uh, mainly configured this one just uh, copy this email address and paste it here and name anything you want okay after that just click auto authentication with google okay i'm just clicking this button and it will going to this page and i'm just select my email and this will uh, appears just uh, don't uh, worry about this just click to advance and go to fluent smtp with unsafe after that click continue and then you will find a key here just copy and go to your site and paste it the access token here and save this connection uh, I have successfully set up and just click it here as you can see uh, my connection is successfully set up and just uh, you can make it default by default if you have one then it will appears here just save this now I am just going to uh, send a text email okay so this too I'm just uh, pick up an email from here and go to my site where is my site this one and just send a testament okay so as you can see that if I go to logs and the uh, email is sent successfully and also I'm just view this data here yes it's successfully delivered from the Gmail so if I just going to inbox as you can see this email is appears and also here so uh, this is the actual steps that you need to cover or you need to set up so hopefully this will help you thank you